Good morning, everybody. How are you? Little scenic overlook here on this uh, reservoir here. And we're in northeast Utah now. Going to be getting into a new state later today. So, uh, nice view though, huh? Man. Unfortunately, I have to say goodbye to something very dear to me today. This white hat needs to be retired. I've had it about a year now, and I can no longer keep it clean, looking good. And many of you have pointed that out to me. So, the white hat must go, and I don't know what I'm going to do. Goodbye, wonderful white hat. We will miss you. Okay. Oh, look. A brand new one. Hey. We'll have to do a few things to it to get it pre prepared the way I like it. Now oh, it's starting to look like a nomadic fanatic hat. Yeah, it'll take about a week to get it formed and fitting correctly, but uh, I also have like 25 other hats I could wear in the meantime, but. All right, let's head on uh, northeast from here. You guys remember these? Mother's frosted cookies although they've they've changed the packaging quite a bit i found some and i bought six packs of these i miss these so much pink animal crackers with the sprinkles mm. it's a it's a comfort snack basically but um for the longest time i didn't see them in the stores you wouldn't like them they're delicious just chilling here at the rest stop jack's got to meet some golden retrievers here what do you think, guy, man? Yeah, it's pretty cool. We got a nice little parking spot here at this rest area. It's actually really cool because they give you two RV slots that are marked. So room for two RVs, six trucks over there, and then about 14 cars. So it really caters to pretty much uh, everybody who wants to come to the rest area. Jax, what are you looking for? Oh, no squirrels, chipmunks, anything defenseless that I can get for a snack. Well, you didn't get that golden retriever, huh? You liked him, though, huh? Yeah. The popcorn, is that pretty good? Mmm, free popcorn. Guys, I kind of like this nomadic nomadic guy. Hi. How you doing? How goes it? Is that pretty good? Okay. Yeah, there are a couple paved trails up behind the rest area here. Oh, well, they are pretty much just straight uphill. Yeah, there's a nice little viewpoint here. It's a nice view. I'm gonna camp here at this rest area today because I've already put on order over 45 miles. And this has been my route today. <laughs> Besides pulling off the highway, the, this is Lincoln Highway down here, marked and everything, but Besides just pulling off the highway and stuff like this, there just isn't much to share with you today. But I still put on the miles, so I'll uh, camp here, like I said, and uh, cut back in in the morning when we get back on the road, see if we can get uh, into Wyoming. So uh, those of you that don't do a whole lot of truck stop, rest area camping, just wanted to show you what it's like here at night. I'm parked under the one of very few lights. I mean, there's some engines running, um, another nice Class B camper vans parked next to me. Another one down there. And I'm sorry about the darkness. I don't know what I was thinking. And then trucks. It's not noisy, but certainly um, if you're not used to it, it can be unpleasant. Um, I'll just put earplugs in. I won't have a problem. But yeah. Anyway, see you in the morning. Well, good morning, everybody, from the rest area here. Nice and sunny and shiny and beautiful. Yep, I was actually looking at some of the video from the first part of this video last night. I do apologize, the wind was getting underneath the wind muff, and so I changed the dead cat here. Do apologize about that. Hopefully I have fixed the wind problem for the rest of this video at least. Let's uh, get on into a new state in Wyoming today. Uh, port of entry next right. You know what that means? That means a new state, everybody. Just like that. Welcome to Wyoming, everybody. I have never been 
in southern Wyoming. I have never trekked through here. I have no idea what to expect, but we got sunshine, we got 70 degrees, uh, everything's working out right now. The only thing that comes to mind for me for Wyoming is, where's Walt Longmire, the sheriff? Seriously though, Netflix, you gotta renew Longmire for one more season. We're, we are a small following, but I love that show. Please add another season. And I can't drink it right now, but still, here's to you, Walt Longmire, Rainier beer. That's right, buddy. <laughs> All righty. Let's uh, get back on Lincoln Highway here and let's go find some fun stuff today. Um, since the rest stop, since last night in Utah, no service. And I already looked ahead with the AT&T coverage map. I actually will not have any cell phone service or Wi-Fi for about 400 miles till I get to the Laramie, maybe even Cheyenne area where it says 2G uh, third party comes back in possibly otherwise uh, Wyoming this is gonna be a long stretch of no service and I will have to utilize local shops to stay in touch and upload videos and stick to paper maps <laughs> and my book I guess okay these are those old style roads that really give that feel of old Lincoln Highway uh, runs right through uh, Fort Bridger here. Got the Wagon Wheel Motel, the cash store, and the famous Jim Bridger Trading Post. Jim Bridger is a very well-known mountain man of the area. Uh, built this trading post in, uh, 18, in the 1840s, I guess. We got some rain on the way over, but see how it's just sunshine and clouds? I like it, I think it's really pretty. Uh, they got a little statue here of Jim Bridger. Kind of neat. The only thing I might just point out is that he doesn't look much like a mountain man. I mean, he's got a trim shaved beard. He just doesn't have that rugged look you'd expect from a real mountain man, but yeah, it's all good. It's a cool looking statue still. I'm gonna say I may have been wrong. Even though that says Jim Bridger Trading Post, Right across the street from the statue, it says it's the real Old Fort Bridger Trading Post. That's just, just somebody that wanted to lie to try to get business, I guess. But yeah, this is the real one here in Wyoming. Uh, yeah, built in 1842 by Jim Bridger. They even have a museum over here you can go look at, but no photography or videography allowed in there. So I figure since I can't bring you guys in there with me, uh, I'm gonna skip the museum. But hey, this is cool. Lincoln Highway, black and orange. The cabins were built in 1929 and restored in 2009. I guess they're talking about those cabins over there. Neat. Pretty neat piece of history. I tell you what, it really feels good to be back on uh, what looks and feels like real Lincoln Highway of the past, you know? Not the highway. Because like that entire section of I-80 is called Lincoln Highway. They built it right over where it was. It's all good. So I can get back on the road though. Oh wow, I almost missed this. I was walking back to the RV and then I looked over here and I saw something. This is a, a much older one, but I found a Lincoln Highway marker off here. It has not been uh, painted or repaired in quite some time, I'm telling you to turn down that way towards the fort. Hey, this little uh, plaque is telling me some information I didn't know about Lincoln Highway. It says in 1928, the Boy Scouts erected 2,400 of these monuments to commemorate the first coast-to-coast -coast highway from New York to San Francisco. So there's your information about the actual look of these markers. The uh, Boy Scouts erected these all over the country along the route. Very cool, good to know. At the fake trading post store here, I got a new Wyoming magnet, a very neat uh, elk wooden magnet they had uh, four of these and they were all handcrafted they all looked a little different uh, i don't know i just thought it really represents the state even though i have not seen a wild elk yet on this trip through this part of the country i actually i got another magnet earlier i forgot to show you remind me to show you my other wyoming magnet at the end of this video remind me yeah like you can reach out eric you didn't show us a magnet oh okay thanks for reminding me 
Beautiful day. Welcome to uh, Little America, everybody. This little gas station piece of property here is uh, known to be the largest gas station in the country, slash hotel, slash restaurant, bar, everything. But uh, they got lots of nice uh, big RV slots to park in. And uh, wait a minute. Okay, and it's a huge hotel with penguins on the roof. You guys see that? There's a, there's a reason why the penguin is on the roof of all these places. That's because uh, at some point this hotel chain decided that it'd be a good idea to ship a penguin from Antarctica over to Boston and then over here to this place to be their live mascot. Unfortunately, Emperor the Penguin did not survive the trip. When he got to Boston, they decided to have him stuffed instead, and now he is a stuffed mascot of this place. Poor penguin. Check this out, guys. I asked if it was okay to overnight here at the gas station, hotel, whatever you call this property, and uh, she told me to park as far away from the hotel doors as possible and that I could stay here one night. So, this is gonna be my home for the night for Jackson and I, and that's perfect. I drove about 35 miles today. It just works out. I didn't plan this. Uh, it's great though. Like I said, still no service. I got some Wi-Fi in the cafe there, so I'll bring the uh, laptop over and catch up with you guys. Maybe post an Instagram picture or something. So, anyways. You glad Dad finally got you an another bed? It doesn't match the one up front, but it's really soft, huh? Yeah. You're welcome. Hell, well, you thought I'd forget, huh? This is that Wyoming one I got. Pretty unique, actually. They have encased a Lincoln Penny inside this plastic case, and it has a thermometer built into it as well. I really like it. It's great for the Lincoln Highway. It's a lucky penny, and it says Wyoming. So that one can go right there. And my Wyoming elk guy can uh, go right there. Looking good. Have a great day, night, morning, adventure. Jackson, I'll see you in a couple days back on the Lincoln Highway. Bye, guys.